Luis Suarez into Usman Dembele. This is what we need. This is Dembele's moment. Usman Dembele, let's go. In the 79th minute, we take the lead. And it's the main man. Luis Suarez holds on. Plays it through into Lionel Messi. Messi can equalize for us. Let's go, man. Straight from kickoff, Leo Messi equalizes for us against Atletico Madrid. Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome to the 8th episode of the Barcelona Career Mode series. You guys seem to be enjoying this series as you guys smashed over 600 likes on the previous episode. This support you guys are showing on this series and on the channel is just crazy. We've also smashed 25,000 subscribers. I'm just grateful to you guys for your support, man. If you guys can smash out another 500 likes for today's episode, that would be awesome. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more FIFA 18 content. Also, the hottest field career mode begins tomorrow, Saturday. I'm super excited for that as well. Hopefully you guys are. Anyways, have a look at the league table. We are doing fairly well in La Liga. We've got a chance to go top of the league if we do beat our next opponent, which is Athletic Bilbao. So it might be a tough game right now. Real Madrid at top of La Liga. They've played a game more than us though and only are a point ahead. Hence why we've got a chance of going league leaders or becoming league leaders. Top scorers in La Liga surprisingly is Usman Dembele, you would expect someone like Messi, Suarez or Cristiano Ronaldo, Benzema, Bale to be there. Yes, Bale is there, but Dembele has been balling for us this season. He is so good in this game. In terms of assists, we've got Suarez in there with 6 assists, Cristiano Ronaldo in there with 4 assists. Basically, things are going pretty smooth for us right now. We are doing well in the Champions League. First 3 games, 3 wins, which is obviously brilliant. Besides that, in the league, we've got a chance to go top of La Liga. In the Spanish Cup, we did win our first game, which we did sim. So, all in all, things going perfect. And for the player of the episode, you guys voted for Leo Messi. And he gets himself his third in-form card of the season, which is fantastic. I kind of felt that Luis Suarez deserved to win player of the episode. But you guys decide. You guys voted for Leo Messi and definitely he was also deserving of the in-form player of the episode tag. So, there you go. Moving on to a press conference and the first question for today is a very interesting one and it also involves you guys. It is rumor that Coutinho desperately wants to move to Barcelona, will you sign him? I'm thinking of bringing in Coutinho in the January transfer window and he will be a marquee signing for the January window. What are your thoughts on this guys? I would love to bring Coutinho to the club. I think in the future, maybe next season or maybe the season after that. He could be the replacement for Andres Iniesta for long term because he is very good indeed. I want this transfer to happen. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want this as well. Now in the previous episode I asked you guys whether we should manage an international team and the general reply was yes. So now we've got a question regarding that. Coach Argentina, they're in need of a good manager to give Messi's long awaited World Cup trophy. Can you do it? We haven't received an offer yet for Argentina but if I do I will accept it and I will coach Argentina but right now we'll wait until until we get a good offer from a team like Argentina and then we'll decide for now let's move on to our next game we've got a chance to go top of La Liga if we do manage to beat Athletic Club or Athletic Bilbao it isn't gonna be easy at all they've got a good team they've got Arturiz up front we've got to be careful about him because we know how good he is in the air and that is one reason I'm playing Laporta and PK together they've got the height they've got the physicality to cope with someone as good as Aritz Arturiz besides that Laporte is playing against this former side, so I decided to anyway start him in this one. It's a very strong team. We've got a chance to go ahead of Real Madrid. Let's hope we take it. Wait for Jordi Alba's run. Jordi Alba makes the run. Can he get there? Yes, he can. Alba puts in a terrific cross, but Varmaelen, former Barcelona player there, makes a very nice clearance indeed. Here's Thiago Barcelona still on the attack. Andres Iniesta goes with his left foot, but a block from one of the Bilbao defenders. We've made a positive start. Chance for Athletic Bilbao. Here's their danger man. Aritza Duriz puts in a cross. Semedo clears and Busquets finds Andres Iniesta. And here we go on the counter attack. Ball played out wide into Usman Dembele who's been in frightening form. He cuts inside. Still Usman Dembele takes it wide again. Messi's decoy run makes it so easy for Dembele to get into space. But well, well, well. He needs to get finishing lessons guys because that was terrible. Here's Thiago Alcantara. Using that pace, does well. Plays it into Usman Dembele. 
Dembele, look at the pace from Usman Dembele. He goes for the driven shot and this time it works. We take the lead against Athletic Bilbao. It took us a bit of time there, 32 minutes. Great pass from Thiago as well. He did so well to get the ball out from the back and then the finish from Dembele was inch perfect. That is what we need from Dembele, not him skying shots into the stands. Oh no, big chance for Athletic Bilbao. Aduriz with the shot and... Oh, I thought it went in for a moment, but it went just wide. Aduriz is their danger man, man. He, his shooting is ridiculous. We've got to be careful. Luis Suarez finds Andres Iniesta. Iniesta plays it into Dembele. He cuts inside so easily. Plays it into Luis Suarez. Now Messi should score. What a save from Kepa Arizabalaga. I don't even know if I pronounced his name right, but we know he's got insane potential and he's showing brilliant goalkeeping there from him. Andres Iniesta... Brilliant pass into Messi. Messi with the shot. Another huge save from Ariza Balaga. I think I'm saying his name right. He's pulled off two insane saves in the space of five minutes. Oh no, this isn't good at all. Iñaki Williams on the attack for Athletic Bilbao. Is he going to cut inside? No, he doesn't. That is brilliant from Gerard PK. Wow. PK man. Literally saved us a goal there. Suarez. Dembele. Out wide into Jordi Alba. I'm going to try and put in a cross. That's a brilliant cross into Leo Messi. And that is a perfect header from him. Arisa Balaga actually managed to get a hand to it. But the header was too good. In fact, it was so easy for Messi to get the header off. Because of the quality of the cross from Jordi Alba. And how many times this season already has Jordi Alba provided an assist? He's been superb down the wings for us. And Messi again with another goal. Andres Iniesta spots Jordi Alba's run again. He's going to put in another cross. Maybe that's another brilliant cross. And Luis Suarez, mate. How have you missed that? Come on. You've got to be scoring those kind of chances. Raul Garcia plays it in behind into Aritz Arturiz. Arturiz has gotten in behind our defense. And that is a brilliant goal from Aritz Arturiz. He broke the defense line with his pace. Which isn't that... He, he isn't that fast. So I'm surprised that he managed to do that. Laporte. Poor defending there from him against this former side. And then the finish from Arturiz was classic. There you have it, a huge win for us away from home against Athletic Bilbao. They did score a consolation goal, but regardless, it was a terrific performance from us. We scored two pretty good goals, Dembele's finish was nice, and that cross from which Messi scored was actually brilliant. And also, you know what, this game could have gone Bilbao's way if they would have scored, but remember that tackle PK made or the sliding challenge PK made? That was brilliant as well, so we've got to give PK credit for that. Probably PK or maybe Jordi Alba. One of them were my man of the matches for this game. Both of them were brilliant. That definitely was a tough away game against Athletic Bilbao. And just to let you guys know, I'm still using those same slider settings that I was using in the previous episode. I'm just enjoying the gameplay with those sliders. They just make me a better player, you know, playing against a tougher AI, even tougher than Legendary. I'm just enjoying it, so I want to continue using it. And I guess it should provide you guys with more entertaining gameplay with both sides scoring goals. And yeah, basically that's that. Moving on, we've got a huge squad monthly report and have a look at our academy, our very own La Masia. It looks brilliant. Danny Barrera, he was a player that we actually, I mean, not the same player, but we had someone called Danny Barrera in last year's Barca career mode as well, but we didn't really use him. Maybe this time we will. His potential is 84 to 94. That is insane. You guys want me to promote any of these youngsters? Just let me know in the comment section. Right now, I'm thinking about keeping them in the academy for a bit more time because they do grow better in the academy. At least that's what I know. We are back where we belong, top of La Liga, 10 games played, 8 wins, 2 draws. We are balling in La Liga, so far no defeats, which is obviously brilliant. 26 points, 2 points ahead of Real Madrid, which is obviously brilliant. Our next game is in the Champions League and you guys definitely will be surprised with my lineup. We are going to be facing Liverpool, so they are a big team, but they're struggling in the Champions League. I'm, I'm telling you, you guys are seriously going to get a big shock when you see the lineup I'm putting forward for this one. This may seem idiotic to some of you guys, but I've decided to go with my second team for this game against Liverpool. Well, my first team is in fit after that game against Athletic Bilbao, and this is a massive opportunity that we can give to these youngsters to see how they can perform against a side like Liverpool, because Dolberg, Kluivert, when else are they going to get opportunities like this against Liverpool? Once we are in the round of 16 or, you know, in the latter stages of the Champions League, there's no way these players are going to get game time apart from being substitutes. So, massive opportunity for these youngsters as of course my first team is in fit. Let's see how they perform. There's not much pressure on these players because in our first three games we managed to pick up nine points. So, 
Let's just see how they perform. Away from home at Anfield, this is big for these youngsters. Here's Sergio Roberto, former Barcelona player, goes past one, puts in a cross in, and it's Milner at the far post to score. Wow. Well, um, I didn't expect to concede so early, but Liverpool are playing actually some good football in these early few moments, and former Barcelona player Sergio Roberto with the assist. That is kind of annoying. Time to put in a cross. Corner, Denis Suarez whips this one in. Goretzka with the header straight towards Mignolet, though. Umtiti. Finds Delafo, Dolberg, back into Geron Delafo, back into Dolberg. This is great build-up play, but Mignolet with a big save there. That would have been a fantastic goal, guys. Finds Cloyvert, Cloyvert with a clever pass into Denis Suarez. Denis Suarez finds Goretzka. Goretzka with the shot. Big save again from the Liverpool keeper. He's made some good saves so far. Now Delafo. Into Justin Cloyvert. Cloyvert waits for the run from Goretzka who gets there. And Leon Goretzka with the goal. He's been superb for us this season. Justin Cloyvert with the assist as well. He did really well in fact to find that pass. And you know what? Goretzka did so well to get ahead of Henderson for that goal man. Great stuff from Leon Goretzka. He's been a fantastic signing for us. I'm not going to lie. I'm really impressed with the way we've played against the top side like Liverpool. I mean we are competing even though we don't really have any of our first team players. The attack is doing well, the midfield is balling for us, we are defending pretty well as well. I'm super impressed with the way we've played, hopefully we can keep it up in the second half as well. Dolberg, big chance for Kasper Dolberg, he goes for the shot and he hits the post. That is so unlucky man, that was his chance to score his first goal in the Barca shirt. Lalana, he's using that pace down the wings. Adam Lalana on the ball, gets away from our defender, puts in a cross into Fermino who hits the post as well. These last few minutes have been insane and now a shot from Lalana, and thankfully that's gone wide. Liverpool on the attack, these past few minutes they've been looking as dangerous as it can be and they've probably scored. It's Felipe Coutinho as well with the goal. Oh man, that's not good at all. In the 71st minute Liverpool have taken the lead. We've got about 20 minutes to try and get back into this one, but terrible defending man. What were we doing? I think it was Marlon Santos who was at fault there. Regardless, we've got time though to make the comeback, so let's hope we can do it. Oh no, this is not good. This is why we need to sign Coutinho, guys. Look at him go. He plays it inside into Jordan Henderson. Henderson finds Coutinho again. Coutinho tries to finesse it. Now it's Sadio Mane who tries to put it into the back of the net. But easy save there from Ter Stegen as it was straight towards him. Liverpool on the attack again and it's Jordan Henderson who scored. Oh my god. Well, in the second half, things haven't gone well for us at all. And Liverpool have scored a couple of goals and now they are leading three goals to one. Delafo. Dolberg gets taken down inside the box. Ref, that has got to be a penalty. Come on, man. Well, that is full time and we get our first defeat of the season. And it's against Liverpool. But you know what? I'm not going to sit here and complain. Liverpool were the deserved winners. But the way these youngsters played, it was just brilliant, guys. I mean, some of them were just too good for Liverpool, especially in that first half. Justin Cloyvert was brilliant and of course the goal scorer Leon Goretzka was amazing. Of course Liverpool's quality show, they played their first team. Well that was our first defeat of the season and it wasn't good to lose but at the same time trying out those youngsters against a team like Liverpool, it definitely gave me an idea of who is going to be a future star and who isn't. Justin Cloyvert is brilliant, I'm not too sure about Dolberg surprisingly. He just can't seem to get into the goals, man. I mean, hopefully he will score his first goal for us soon, but so far things haven't looked good for him. Cloyvert is doing very well. Goretzka is superb. I really like him in this game as well. And besides that, no one notable. Delefeu surprisingly didn't perform. I'd expect him to get in some goals or at least try and create some chances. But regardless, it was fun that game playing with those youngsters. And in the Champions League, it doesn't affect us much as we are still top of our group. But we've got a tough game now against Sevilla. This is the team that I'm putting forward. Basically, my first team. The fact that we rested our first team in that game against Liverpool. We've now got a fully fit squad for Sevilla. Let's hope we can take complete advantage of that and beat Sevilla and get three points. Sarabia, Jordi Albert as well. And now we've got a chance to counter. Brilliant pass from Busquets into Dembele. And with just one pass, we are now on a terrific counter-attack. Jesus Mont Dembele cuts it back into Leo Messi. And that is quite possibly the best counter-attack this series has seen so far. It was just brilliant. One pass from Busquets and Dembele was through. Utilising that insane pace. And then the presence of mind to find Leo Messi. 
at the far post was brilliant and then Messi that was just one of the simplest goals he'll ever score so we are leading 1-0 against Sevilla Messi still Messi Wait for Luis Suarez, his run, Suarez makes a run, in fact he was just standing there, Messi just played such a good pass to him and Suarez with the finesse shot of dreams and we are leading 2-0 under 15 minutes, things can't be going better for us against a team like Sevilla. Here's Usman Dembele, oh that's brilliant from Dembele, did you guys see that skill, he finds Jordi Alba, Jordi Alba cuts this one back, uh, it's behind Messi, that skill move from Dembele was so well executed man. He's so good in this game, one of my favourite players. Messi, Barcelona with another chance, Leo Messi and that's the finish of dreams by Leo Messi. He does it again man, a double already for Messi, a brace as we should call it. He's got a chance to score a hat-trick against someone as good as Sevilla so let's hope he can do that. Luis Suarez with another assist, we are absolutely destroying Sevilla. Suarez, now Leo Messi runs down the wings again. They, they, Messi's too good man, they just can't handle Leo Messi, oh what a save from the keeper, DeMarcos with the goal line clearance, but Messi guys, he's been too good in this game against Sevilla, the, their defence doesn't know what to do, Dembele, clever skill from him, Usman Dembele with the finesse shot, Sergio Rico with the save, Suarez plays it in behind into Usman Dembele, cuts inside, should score, what's going on, how's the keeper save that? You know what, good defending from Sevilla there, they didn't give Dembele that much space to shoot and eventually when the shot was taken the keeper was well posi positioned. Nolito finds Vasquez back into Nolito, you know what, we'll give Sevilla that, that was a good goal they've scored, Nolito and Vasquez linked up so well for that one, but yeah we are still leading 3-1 so not too bad. Corner for Sevilla and Zonzi heads it and well they have scored another goal, so they've scored like a couple of goals in the space of 8-10 to ten minutes. That isn't good, they're back in this one guys, I thought there was nothing to worry about but looks like we've got to be careful for the next 15 minutes of this game. There you go, full time, we managed to hold on to the 3-2 lead, I didn't expect Sevilla to fight back like the way they did, I mean they scored two goals and they were back in this one. They didn't really create much after their second goal, it was all Barcelona but regardless, they looked threatening towards the end but you know what, 3-2 against Sevilla is a very good result even though it is at home. We continue winning in La Liga which is exactly what we need. That definitely was a very interesting game of FIFA. We thrashed Sevilla in that first half, scoring three, but in the second half, they actually did a pretty good job, you know, scoring two goals and that first goal they scored was actually pretty good. I forgot who scored it, I think yeah, it was uh, Nolito who scored, that was actually a good goal. Their second goal was just bullshit, but anyways, they did well to try and come back, but we were too good and we managed to hold on to the lead. We've got a transfer offer for Ostola, I've accepted it from Osasuna. Let's hope he can get sold. The reason I think he's not getting sold is because of his wage. He's on a 40 grand wage. I don't know why he's being paid so much by the club but anyways, what I'm going to do is if no offers come in or if he doesn't negotiate with the op opposing club, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to release him from his contract. It might, be the, it might be the wrong decision but I don't want to keep him at the club guys, he's on way too high wages and it just makes sense to get rid of him. Next episode we've got Leganes, Borussia Dortmund, an important Champions League game considering we dropped points against Liverpool so let's hope we can beat them. We've got the second leg of the Copa del Rey which we will be simming, we've got some more La Liga games as well. Now Leo Messi is finally top scorer of La Liga and Bale is in there with 8 goals as well, same as Messi. And Dembele as well with 8 goals. Both have been just phenomenal for us this season. Dembele and Messi got to be the standout performers for us, especially in attack. In midfield, I think Iniesta has got to be a standout performer, even Goretzka. And in defence, Umtiti and Jordi Alba. So those are basically the players getting the job done for us. Nominees for today's split of the episode are Leo Messi. He was brilliant in this episode, guys. Like, seriously. Your second nominee being Usman Dembele, who was again superb, scoring more goals. Still top scorer of La Liga. And your third nominee is Jordi Alba, again, delivering fantastic crosses. He's so good in that left-back position. But you can vote by clicking the i button on the top right of your screen. That is it for today's video. If you've enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on this one. 500 likes would be incredible. Follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel. Subscribe for more FIFA 18 content. And I will see you guys very soon for another episode of this series.